Hey everybody, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, my name is Whitney. Welcome to my channel. Uh, here we just have a lot of fun playing with makeup and uh, I'm starting to dive into the world of painting. That's a whole different story, but today I'm going to show you guys how I get a very easy brown bronzy um, eye look. So, um, this is one of my go-to looks when I want something that looks very put together, but it doesn't take a lot of time and it's super easy. So, um, as you guys can tell, I already have my face on and my eyebrows, so we're just going to jump right into getting our eye makeup on. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm going to use this Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is and I just pat this into my eyelid. Um, I like this one because it's super lightweight, but it still helps to cover any um, discoloration or veining that I have on my eyelids. And I do take that eyeshadow primer all the way up to my eyebrow, all the way down to my eyelashes. So I put it um, all over the lid. And then... I'm going to go into this Coastal Scents Duo eyeshadow um, set. And I'm going to go in with this, well it's almost pan, but it's a creamy matte white um, ivory tone shadow. And I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to set my entire eye. Um, because I'm not doing any cream bases or anything like that, I'm going to set the entire lid and the brow bone. So everywhere that I put the primer, I'm going to set with this shadow. And I go in dabbing motions at first um, because I don't want to disrupt where I put the primer. And then once I've kind of set it a little bit, I'll go in and kind of buff um, the eyeshadow around to make sure that it's in all the areas that I want it to be in. So once I've set my entire eyelid um, from eyebrow to lashes with that cream shadow, I'm going to go in with this neutral brown. Um, this is like a medium tone brown shadow. This is from NYX. I'm not sure of the exact color because I did depot it, so there's nothing written on it. But um, I know it was from NYX, and it's just a matte brown shadow. And I'm going to go into the crease with this shadow um, as my transition color. And I do this because I'm going to put a um, dark brown on the lid and I don't want it to look too harsh as it goes higher. I want it to look like a nice natural gradient. So this neutral brown will do that for us. And you just build up this brown shadow into the crease to whatever extent you feel um, you like, I like mine very blown out and a little bit deeper than some may like it because I have a large eyelid space. And so for me, it takes a little more for the shadows to kind of be visual on my eyelids. Okay, so we're done with that one for now. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this nice brown shimmery shade. As you can tell, it's got some gold flecks in it. Uh, this is a Sephora eyeshadow in the color Brown Diamonds, and it's number 294. Uh, I take a flat shader brush. This is from Palladio. This is just a flat shadow brush from Palladio. And I take this and I just load it up um, with this brown shadow. And I'm going to pat it and pack it onto the eyelid. Now, um, for those of you who like to do your eyeshadow before your um, foundation and everything, this would be a good one because you will get a little bit of fallout from this. But I never usually have in, too many of an issues just wiping it away. Um, but you will get a little bit of fallout from the shadow, but it's beautiful. So I'm just going to go ahead and pack this all over the lid. I don't want to get it too high into my crease. So I'm going to keep it kind of low and then we're going to blend out. Um, after we're done packing it on.
and I like to slowly just work my way up into the crease because like I said you don't want to get um, too high up because then all that glitter is going to be in the crease and you don't really want it there you just want it nice and packed onto the lid okay and once you're satisfied with the amount of shadow that you've packed onto the lid um, I like to go back in with the transition color and my fluffy brush and just buff out the edges a little bit and add a little bit more depth to the outside corner With a clean fluffy brush, I just go in and buff out the edges of that transition shade because it can get a little heavy or I can get a little heavy handed with it. And what this does is it just creates a nice gradient towards the brow bone and you're buffing it out so that way the lightest shadow is going to be near the brow bone for when we highlight. I don't want anything that's going to be too shimmery or... Um, stark white to highlight the brow bone so I'm gonna go into this matte or it's actually like a satin finish uh, creamy um, ivory yellow based um, shadow from the Carly Bible palette BH cosmetics palette and I'm going to put this as my brow bone highlight it's very pigmented so it gives you the look that you want but it's not completely matte, it's got a little bit of a satin finish, so it gives you a nice highlighted area. Because again, I have all that glitter on the lid, so I don't want to bring too much shimmer, but I do want to bring some brightness. I like to take a small pointed um, fluffy brush in that transition shade and I'm going to go and run this underneath my lash line to give that a little bit of definition. We don't need anything too dark down here because the lid has so much going on. We just want a little bit of something so that way the eye doesn't look unbalanced. And I'm not going to take this all the way to the inner corner. I'm just going to take it right about three-fourths of the way in. I'm going to go in with this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Rose Gold. And I'm going to add this to my uh, waterline just to give it a nude. Um, and these are slightly shimmery. So like a shimmery nude um, waterline just to help the eye really pop. Okay, so off camera real quickly, I went ahead and set my eyebrows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I popped on a little bit of blush and a little bit of highlight. So, to finish off this eye look is all that's left is mascara. So, I want to go ahead and curl my eyelashes with my Tarte um, Eyelash Curler. I'm going to go in with my Lancome uh, Seals Booster XL Eyelash Primer. I love this stuff. And with this, I like to work one lash at a time because once it dries, it really sets the lashes in place and it can get a little difficult to apply mascara on top of it once it's completely dried. So I give it a really nice good coat and then I go in with my mascara. And typically with this primer, I would use the Lancome Hypnostrama Mascara um, paired with it because that is a favorite combination of mine. But lately, I have been loving the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. So this is a little travel size that I've um, been working on. So I'm going to use this today. The only issue I have with this um, mascara wand is because it's so big that I tend to get mascara on my lid um which of course you know I don't like 
but um with a dark eyeshadow like this you can just go over it and once the mascara is dry and it's no big deal for my lower lash line i've been loving the mac extended um play lash the wand is just so thin that it really is easy to get on the lower lash line without making a mess All right, guys, so this is the finished eye look. Uh, lots of mascara. It's super easy, but it gives a nice dramatic effect. Um, it's great for daytime. If you wanted to um, deepen out the crease a little bit more, throw on a wing liner, some false lashes, you could easily wear this for nighttime. Uh, it looks great, but it's super easy to do, and it's one of my go-to looks when I don't really know what else to wear. So, um... I'm just going to go in so you can see the shimmer. And again, that's a Sephora eyeshadow. So I love Sephora eyeshadows. They're great quality. And that glitter, that gold glitter just really dresses up this brown eye. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Oh, and if you're wondering, I threw on um, a lipstick, the Kat Von D studded lipstick in Lovecraft. So... I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so so that way you can check out all of my future videos and let me know what you guys uh, would like to see. If you'll have any particular eye looks that you would like to see, just let me know and I uh, will see you guys in the next one. Bye.